Happy New Year's. Happy New Year, Francis. Are you excited? You look great. Cheers, guys. Happy New Year's. This is not how I recommend starting the new year. This is really messy for us right now. Good morning. So Bart and I are having a debate about this tree this morning. Today is January 1st and I want to take down this tree. I want to take all the ornaments off, take the lights off and move it out of our house. And I'll be honest guys, I wanted to take this tree down the day after Christmas. Bart was like, no, it's the 12 days of Christmas. I don't even know when the 12 days of Christmas start, when they end. He's like, we have to keep the tree up. He goes, at least until New Year's. I feel like January 1st, I wanna start the year off new, fresh, a new start. I don't want the tree up. That tree's coming down today, you guys. It's January 1st, it's coming down, it's going away. But we were talking about last night, like our highlights, like our highlight reel of 2020. Like what were the positive things that happened in 2020? So number one, me and Bart became, well, I became an aunt and Bart became an uncle. My little niece, oh my gosh. I cannot wait to meet my little niece. She is in Australia. Australia is like shut down almost completely to uh, tourists and outside people coming into their country. So I'm not able to see her yet, but hopefully, hopefully this year we'll get to fly over there and meet her. She's so cute. <laughs> I never thought I could love a person so much without ever even like meeting them, just seeing like pictures of them. What was another highlight for 2020? Well, we get to spend a lot of time together, which was good. Oh, yeah. We spent so much time together. It was amazing, right? It was, every minute. <laughs> So in 2019, Bart spent the entire year in Abu Dhabi. So he was not home at all. I was like, you guys saw, I was like living the bachelorette life in New York City. When did you get back, like March? In March. Yeah, Bart got back in March to New York City and I believe like a few weeks after he got back, like everything shut down. Restaurants, museums, movie theaters, like everything shut down. And then Bart was informed that he was going to be working from home. So, like we spent almost no time together in 2019 and then 2020 was like, hi, hello. We're like quarantined and staying at home together for like the entire year. What was the last thing, what was our last highlight of the year? What, did Franny learn a lot of new tricks? No, <laughs> yeah, we did teach Franny like a ton of new tricks. Oh my gosh, let's do this one. Bow. Good boy. <laughs> We're still kind of working on it. We the bought, big highlight. We bought our house here in DC. Yay, we bought our house in DC. That's exciting, we're homeowners. So those were our highlights of 2020. This next portion of the vlog is sponsored by HelloFresh. So one of my goals for this year is to cook more from home. HelloFresh helps us with that. They have a ton of different recipes to choose from each week, helping us break out of like the ordering cycle and like recipe ruts. And with HelloFresh, it just saves you time. It stays saves you the stressfulness of meal planning and preparation. They give you a picture of what the meal is supposed to look like, what ingredients you need, and then simple step-by-step -step directions. And they only ever give you exactly what you need for that recipe. Also, HelloFresh is just really flexible. They, you don't have to get your meals delivered on the exact same day, exact same time, like every single week. You can change it around to fit into your lifestyle. This was super helpful for me when I was flying as a flight attendant because I never knew my schedule. My schedule was like so different from like month to month. It really helped that I could change my delivery date according to my schedule for that week. So guys, go to hellofresh.com and use my code flywithstella10 to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. This literally, this might be my best one yet. Like literally might be my best one yet. It looks identical. I have to hold my sleeve or else it'll get lost in my jacket sleeve. I am a hot mess. Getting ready to go to the Asian market. It's all the way out in Virginia. They have the best, most unique flavors of everything. Dishes are done. Franny is just relaxing. We'll be back in a few hours. You've entered the parking lot. 
stop for your destination. Um. Oh, it's pouring. I know. It's raining. Okay. This is literally like the funnest store. I get so excited coming here. <laughs> Just one basket for us, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did that last time. Ooh, we need Chinese broccoli. Ooh, those look good. Ooh, they got a bunch of them. I'm so getting those hot dog things. Cucumber flavor. Oh yeah, these, oops, sorry. <laughs> These little hot dog things are so good, but they they were very like um, oniony. This is like this is the biggest catch Taiwan cabbage. This is the biggest cabbage I've ever seen. And what is this? Is this like jicama? Oh, oh, it's the taro. It's the taro. Jason, this is so heavy. Oh yeah, that's the Napa, yeah. The produce here is so amazing. Everything's like super sized. Like look at this. <laughs> look how big this is. Yeah. Why is that one separate? Here is our cart so far. The seaweed. Like discs of seaweed. I posted like a month ago or something, maybe two months ago, a picture with this big chili bag. And I was like, guess how much this thing weighs? But I never told you guys the answer. So the answer is this bag weighs five pounds. I'm not sure if that's gonna focus, but this bag is five pounds. Yeah, there's a ton of good restaurants in here too. Ramen, I love ramen. And this is boba tea, and this okay. boba, this was like, was it so amazing? It was so good. Mm, yum. Um, he uses it every day, so thank you. I got black tea with almond milk, and this is, with, what is this one? Um, a so normal milk tea with boba. Oh, milk tea with boba. Oh my gosh. How is it? Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. I didn't get any boba tapioca balls in it this time. You guys. And this is spicy lamb skewers. Cumin lamb. Cumin lamb. Mm. But that makes a difference. Yeah. Cumin lamb. Oh my gosh. It's like amazing. This is everything that I got at the store. Just a ton of like fun things here. Pickled ginger. I'm so excited to try this. Just like chili oil. So excited to try these seaweed chips. I love going to that market like I love getting all of this stuff and just trying new things like I've never tried this before but this looks like a really good trail mix bye time to take the tree down it's good we got to enjoy it for a few more days we get to have our kitchen back our dining room table yeah and all like that it's, so nice. it's, it's high. yeah it's start it's high. starting to flop flippity floppity I think we're gonna do the big bobs first, and then we'll take off the the uh, other ones. Now, do we leave these hooks on? Oh, uh, I don't think so. I think we can take them off, and I'll. Why don't we just leave them like that? But look, we can. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Here are some of the like personal bulbs we have. And then these were our bulbs that we used this year. <laughs> Is it pine needles? Yeah, I think it's little pine needles. Let's see what under the tree. 
Oh, he's got something here. Fran Bear, you got little pine. Fran Bear, I got a picture too. These lights gave us the hardest time. All right, you ready? Here it comes. Oh, do we need it here? We move this table over. You got this, Bart. Our pine needles going everywhere. <laughs> I'm the camera woman. <laughs> end of Christmas. The star. Until next year. Doo -doo. <laughs> I couldn't even tell that it went off. Well, all right, we're gonna keep this bad boy. Oh, we'll forever keep that star. <laughs> all right, now where does this Christmas tree go? I don't know. <laughs> Here it goes. Bye, tree. Bye, tree, bye. <laughs> she, she's big. <laughs> Isn't it so much brighter? It's, it is. I went a little crazy and made just a few other tiny little adjustments just to open up our place a little bit more. This was looking a little crowded, so I moved the light from there to there just to kind of like open it up. I know we probably still need something there, but something smaller. I put the plant that used to be here over there because I love like from this angle I love seeing that plant in the corner and then this plant used to be over there and that whole area is so crowded with all of like our winter coats so now I have it here do you like that does it I do I like that does it look good what <laughs> what are you doing I have to eat this one there we go. Oh my gosh. I'm just working on this one here. Live entertainment. <laughs> you, do you like that there, babe? I like that kind of a lot. And I, I love it. more. Yeah, because it was super crowded over there. So then we moved this over a little bit also. Once we get rid of some of these coats, once come like spring, summer, this will look a little bit more open. But we literally need all those coats. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to go to take all this holiday stuff to the storage unit. But yeah, what do you guys think? Oh my gosh, babe. <laughs> Look at this orange. It's all over. It's all like yeah, this orange is like, help, help, eat me. That, that area is not so crowded. Do you see that area over there? Mm -hmm. Do you like that? I do. I like the lamp a little bit, you know, now people can see it. Yeah, and now I wonder what that's gonna look like at night. We'll have to get a shot of that. Here's the light at night. What do you think, Francis? I almost feel like I want to move the light back because <laughs> it lit up that tree and it was so pretty. But it's still kind of nice. Francis. We're still deciding. It kind of makes your bedroom like really bright, huh? But look, even that looks good over there. Yeah, I like that plant. Looks very. Right. Well, do you like that planter? I do. Oh yeah, and then there was a little plant over there and we actually moved that plant to right here. So now this is the shot from the TV. We've got a lot of our errands done already today. Yeah, we have to go to the storage unit. Storage unit, we've got the tree down. The tree's in the, ready to be composted out in the back. <laughs> so, we're good to go. Storage unit! <laughs> it's We're running out of room. Oh, no, plenty of room. <laughs> oh. well, this is a pillow, so we can go up anywhere. Christmas box. I'm going into the storage. 